We've been asked a lot about Azure Stack and IoT scenarios. Today on the IoT Show, I have Rita Tao, and she's coming from the IoT Hub platform team, and she will explain to us what is Azure Stack, how does that fit into IoT scenarios, and how does it compare to Azure IoT Edge? Hi everyone, this is Olivier on the IoT Show. Um, super happy to be your host. Uh, today we have Rita Ka with us. Hey Rita, how are you doing? Hi, I'm doing good, thank you. <laughs> good, so Rita came here to talk about Azure Stack in IoT. And so first, before we get into that topic, Rita, I'd like for you to introduce yourself to our audience mm -hmm. and tell us what are you doing at Microsoft? Mm. Hi, this is Rita Tao. I am a program manager at IoT platform teams. So uh, my main responsibility is to put IoT hubs on Azure Stack. Okay, so Azure Stack, if you don't know it, go read about it. It's super interesting. Uh, it's a way to bring the Azure services as close as possible to where you need them, yep. which is on-premise. Uh, and so they offer basically like the, the services that are supported today, fully functional on your own rack of servers. Uh, but IoT Hub, actually something that people have been asking uh, us about, like will we have Azure IoT Hub as a service on <laughs> Azure Stack? Mm -hmm. So let me ask you the question, will we have Azure IoT Hub on Azure Stack? So uh, I'm glad you asked the questions. Uh, like our director, Sam George, announced that uh, we're going to bring IoT Hub and a DPS on Stack at this spring in Hanover Meta. So that's our team is doing right now. And we're working uh, very hard to make it very efficient performance and make it available to the customer as soon as possible. Um, and so, so actually, let me ask you, so why would someone want to run IoT Hub on Azure Stack, right? I, IoT Hub is that service that allows you to connect these devices to the cloud, to yes. services, right? Yeah. So what are the key scenarios that you would eventually need to have IoT Hub running on Azure Stack? That's a very good question. Uh, um, actually, when we bring the stack and IoT together, we open the new scenarios, which is on-premise IoT solutions. Uh, but I think that before we're talking about that one, yeah. I think it's a good idea to talk about Azure Stack first. What is Azure Stack, basically? Yeah. Okay. So yeah, yeah. Because I was stack. just assuming, like, hey, everyone knows. No, actually, yeah. you're right. Let's yeah. talk so about Azure Stack. Azure Stack basically is a, is a hybrid platform. So you can host Azure services on it, and you can have your Azure Stack running in your own data centers. Okay. Uh, so sometimes when I view the Azure Stack, I, I view it's a, a vertical integration of hardware and software. Mm -hmm. So when we say hardware, because um, a, Microsoft partner with a selective OEMs like okay. uh, HPE, like a Dell EMC, mm -hmm. Cisco, Lenovo, Huawei, Worthman, uh, you know, the list is growing. Okay. So we are partnered with them, so they purposely build the other appliances for our stack, which you can run performed like robust. Um, so uh, for the customer, if you want other stack appliances, you have to choose from this uh, list of a cost, uh, yeah. OEM partners. You cannot just run it on your you can, PC. Yeah, you cannot well. just no. have your own server running it. Got it. And yeah. on top of our uh, hardware, we have like a ICE, uh, mm -hmm. like a, to take care of your networking, your computing, your storage. Okay. And on top of it, we have a part services, like other services for like uh, uh, other functions, uh, like um, other services, key, key vault, uh, and like uh, um, other app services we're bringing to the stacks. Okay. Um, the list is growing of for uh, our part of uh, Azure services and mm -hmm. in the same time, uh, the good things of Azure Stack is we integrate with um, Marketplace at Azure Cloud. So if mm -hmm. third party have their own services, you can they can publish to the Marketplace oh. and you can download third party services to your Azure Stack. Okay. So um, that's what yeah. is Azure Stack. I think it's a very uh, unique offer from a stack. Is like because uh, Satya keeps saying like it's a hybrid uh, yeah. scenarios, mm -hmm. and this is a one key uh, uh, component Microsoft built to fulfill that uh, um, goals. Okay. Uh, Two things when we're talking about hybrid. One is Azure Stack can operate in hybrid mode. Mm -hmm. The meaning is like talking about one example for yeah. hospitals. Um, hospital because of regulations, they are not allowed to upload like a patient, some kind of patient data to the cloud, like okay. very sensitive, it's a private data. Mm -hmm. So they have to keep the data on premises. But some data is like, it's, uh, it's not PII and it's not private, not patient um, generic data. Yeah. They can still upload to the cloud to do like a machine learning to come up with insight. Yeah, a so scenario would be the, the anony anonymized data from patient, so yeah. they can then you know upload up to the cloud to do as you 
who are saying, you know, training or reach uh, machine learning models, AI and so forth exactly. on anonymized data. Makes sense. Yeah. Okay. So for that case, like uh, Azure Stack and Azure Cloud, it's a perfect fit because you can have Azure Stack sitting in your hospital mm -hmm. to, to store processing and yeah. uh, score the machine learning model yeah, yeah. for your patient data and non-patient, non-sensitive data, you can still send to the cloud. Mm -hmm. So that's why we're talking about it's a hybrid, uh, which extend the Azure reach to your on-premises facilities. Okay. Okay. Uh, another unique thing is about this one is um, uh, we're talking about the consistent development model. Actually, it's um, uh, uh, our VP, mm -hmm. uh, Scott, mm -hmm. he had been saying like a uh, consistent developed model is like a key component yeah. what we offer to the customer mm -hmm. to easy their role to do the uh, uh, digital transformation yeah. from their legacy to, to the future world to the cloud because okay. you, you won't be able to do it one night. You have mm -hmm. to do gradually. Mm -hmm. So for this one, the unique part is uh, when you write solutions, yeah. you just need a one copy of your code mm -hmm. uh, and you can deploy to either the cloud or to the Azure stack. You don't have to make changes. Yeah, there's like full compatibility between the two platforms. Basically. Exactly. Makes yeah. sense. So Makes that's sense. that's okay. why we mentioned like it's a, okay. it's a consistent uh, development models. So that that's actually starts answering the second question, the second topic, which is why would you want to use Azure Stack in an IoT scenario, right? Because yeah. Because you, you brought up the value prop of Azure Stack. There's some specificity to IoT in general that actually make these scenarios relevant. Yeah. Do you mind like going through the MLA? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So um, we have our team have been engaging with lots of IoT customer enterprises, mm -hmm. uh, and we hear a lot of feedbacks. Mm -hmm. And a few reasons w when I look at back is like uh, first, like uh, uh, I, I, there's no priority, but there's a different reasons. One reason is regulations, yep. uh, b like hospital case, and mm -hmm. there's also some manufacturer they do like uh, manufacture defense weapons, yep, <laughs> so they're okay. not allowed to upload data to the cloud. Yep. Uh, another reasons is like a, a low latency. Mm -hmm. So when you have a stack sitting in your manufacturer floor yeah. or like very close to your to your facilities, mm -hmm. it's like a low latency without go through multi hops yeah. to different nodes. Um, th another reason is like a lack of connections like for cruise ship, mm -hmm. which going to the ocean, you don't have a network connection, all yep, this yep. super expensive, you go to the satellite to yep. get the data, it doesn't justify the cost. Um, and you have to do like a, a like very intensive computing and the data mm -hmm. process. Uh, also, like for the remote, uh, like in the desert, you have the remote wells. Yes. That's, you don't have that much internet connection yep, either. Yep. Uh, there are also customers which um, they um, they have their own legacy system, like we mentioned mm -hmm. before. Yeah. It's very hard to modernize directly to the cloud, yeah. and this one will become your stepstone to gradually go to the to go to the, uh, the cloud. It. When yeah. you use a local infrastructure as, yeah. a service as part of Azure Stack, yeah. and you can you know load your legacy application there, see how they behave with the rest of your uh, solution, and then graduate yeah. like graduate really. from say to the cloud. Exactly. Right? Yeah. Um, and there are also some customers, especially like manufacturing, they are paralyzed to have internet connection because they don't want if network internet connection is break down. I have to my machine manufacturing is shut down. They don't want to have a dependence on that one. Mm -hmm. Now you can still use your solutions uh, on the Azure Stack. Got it. So okay. those are a yeah. few reasons I have been seeing like a yeah. customer uh, thinking like they would like yeah. to. Yeah, and yeah. actually that, that perfectly matches the kind of questions we're getting in terms of, hey, can we get the IoT Hub support on Azure Stack? Yeah. But actually that leads to another question. So Azure Stack is one of the elements of that intelligent edge that we've been talking about, right? You have mm -hmm. the intelligent cloud and now we're extending to the edge with intelligent Easy. edge. Mm -hmm. We have the thing that is called Azure IoT Edge which is part of that story as well. Yeah. So I'm curious to know how you can explain to our audience how do Azure Stack with IoT Hub running on it and IoT Edge, you know, fit in the picture of the intelligent edge. What is the difference? What are they designed for and how they are, you know, eventually working together? Yeah, so that's a, a very good question. I do also hear a uh, customer, they have confusion about this too. Yeah. Uh, so actually they mainly, they have a, different usage. So for IoT Edge, they mainly like it's sitting very close with your machine. Yeah. Um, it's 
because of low latencies and they do very like a, a kind of a uh, respond immediately almost almost uh, real time yeah and lots of uh, edge uh, sitting close with machines they do like a protocol translation because mm -hmm. the machine you connect to might have uh, all kinds of uh, proprietary yeah, yeah. protocols yep. and then before you connect it to the hub you have to translate it the, the protocols Got it. Okay. and uh, some do like a data like a transformation you mm -hmm. have a uh, different units you have a uh, different ways yep. you want to translate normal it mm -hmm. and you want to do some uh, um, like a uh, model scoring and you want to do some data aggregation desampling before okay. you send data to the hub to the cloud okay so that's mainly uh, IOT edge okay. but for stack which you think imagine it's a beefy server it's a super powerful yeah, yeah. and multi node server sitting uh -huh. there it, you can store large volume of data very intensive computings so it's mainly for like a very uh, compute intensive um, uh, process you run okay. and solutions okay. running on top mm. of it and it's it's not cheap so when we're talking about the prices you will know like mm. for IoT Edge run, it's it's a it's a runtime and we open source it yeah. and it's a free. Okay. Um, but for the stack, actually, um, for the production uh, appliances, yeah, like yeah. I mentioned previously, mm -hmm. you have to talk into those OEM partners, you have to uh, plan it, and you have to pay for it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and that's hard hardware on top of it. Okay. Um, uh, actually, uh, a little bit uh, sidetrack, like for IoT stack, they, uh, we offer two uh, pricing models. One is um, pay as a use, yeah. uh, which is a hybrid case, mm -hmm. periodically connect to, this, to, the, to, cloud. to the cloud. Can measure when it's been so used, you can never have okay. used okay. or capacity based like mm -hmm. you can fully disconnect it and then you you, you report it how basically yearly yeah, okay. yearly subscription yeah. so that's nice. regarding the prices actually the hardware will be different for edge we have a super small footprint yeah so you can you can have a small like a raspberry pi mm -hmm. and you can run edge on top of it okay. uh, and or you can have your like powerful server too that's fine you can, yeah. it sounds like it's a windows or linux yeah and because it's a container base you can okay. you can still run the edge uh, but for um appliances again like you yeah. have to talk into mm -hmm. this uh, appliance uh, at uh, appliance right now, uh, no, the stack appliances offer like from a four node to twelve node, okay. and I know team is continue working to expand it. Okay, because um, so it's, it's a really very much a matter of scale, right? So IoT Edge for bringing the intelligence that cloud as close as, uh, close as possible to the devices on a device, because IoT Edge becomes a device in that case. Yes. Azure Stack is is more about bringing part of the cloud on premise on premises in the form of a mini data center, basically, right? Exactly. Okay. Yeah, it's okay. your 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 private data center. Yeah. So when we're talking about yeah. that one, actually, I want to bring out another uh, point is uh, because of it's your private data center, and you have to operate it. Instead of uh, Azure Cloud, Microsoft operating, make yeah. sure it's like a, the never done. I mean, the, yeah, we have yeah. SLA, mm -hmm. but for the appliances, uh, uh, we call it the client, client operator. Okay. You have to operate it. You have to make sure it's running all the time. You're responsible you have to make for it. Yeah, it's yeah. your responsible yeah. for it. Awesome. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. I can give you a few examples that might yeah. be helpful. Yeah. Yeah. For yeah. Edge, yeah, normally you will put Edge on your truck, yeah. right? Because you won't be able to have a beefy. Uh, appliances servers. running yeah, on the truck, yeah. or, or for the smart mm -hmm. uh, like a uh, conference room, or for your like uh, oil wells, right? Yeah, you can yeah. have uh, monitor your drill machines, mm -hmm. or you can have like a manufacturer line. You have edge sitting beside your manufacturer machines. Okay. But for the stack, you can put on the cru cruise ship, like okay. we mentioned it. Okay. You can cr put on the hospital it, for your regional retails. Because mm. retail, we do have like um, interest from customer. They also want to. You you don't have a connection, or you want to have the data to your own. You don't yep, want to yep, send yep, data to the yep, cloud. Exactly. Or manufacturer, whoever they are not comfortable to put data to the cloud, they can. Of course, that's yep. another example yep. we keep mentioning. And yeah, with, with Azure Stack, you have like a huge amount of storage capacity. On IoT Edge, you can do local storage, but it's, it's limited by the size of that device, right? Yes. So it's something you cannot extend indefinitely, yeah. and, and it's way easier to manage huge amount of storage on this kind of like rack of servers and appliances, right? Yeah, so right. another thing is like uh, um, the dependencies. For mm -hmm. uh, Stack, you can run independent because your own data center, but for IoT Edge, you need IoT Hub to do the device management, to manage your module, okay. to configure it, to deploy it. Okay, uh, so sense. whether it's IoT Hub 
on cloud or I IoT Hub on stack. So you can so, imagine having a scenario where you have Azure Stack on premise in your yeah. factory, for example, doing all the heavy lifting, mm -hmm. right? And then you have IoT Edge, which is as close as possible to your robot arm, for example, doing right. the you know the in, in the inference for some of the data coming from the de the device as close as fast as possible to respond yeah. to the device. Yeah. And that one being managed by the IoT Hub running on the stack instance, right? So you can actually they are complementary basically. In, in it your is. IoT it is. It's not either or. Or, so when we're uh, talking to the customer, a, a lot of cases they are working uh, uh, together. Like you have an edge monitor or control okay. your devices, and edge actually uh, does real time to the devices. Mm -hmm. But some data they still send into the IoT hub. They can okay. do some processing or like uh, future planning, predict the maintenance, uh, all those things. So machine learning, you do mention like a ro robot. Yeah, yeah. Like uh, edge is mainly do scoring, like yes. the scoring model. Yeah, and yeah. but for for stack, you can do more intensive uh, machine learning. Learning. And you can do the training as well yeah, of your the, models, right? Yes. You can do the training of the models in the factory on stack, and you can actually leverage that model on IoT Edge device with that inference and that execution of that model. Yes. Basically. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because it's a beefy, powerful. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> in all kind of ways. Awesome. <laughs> So another thing I want to, uh, I mean, because uh, Satya mentioned this one, uh, uh, I think uh, um, I take it seriously, like client intelligence and edge intelligence is architectural patterns okay. for whatever Microsoft is building, like uh, Azure Cloud. Mm -hmm. But I think it is not only for Microsoft building Azure um, yeah. the Cloud and their stack and other like hybrid scenarios, mm -hmm. but also for IoT solutions. When you build it, you need to consider this architectural patterns. Because uh, now we provide all different uh, components for you to do the intelligence. You yes. want the intelligence at the edge, which very almost real-time respond, uh, like very quick and mm -hmm. fast, or you want be intelligence intelligence for your stack, which for your regional, like a uh, retail yeah, or yeah. hospital or mm -hmm. your manufacturing mm -hmm. uh, to do some um, uh, planning or uh, some like um, uh, in, in, in intelligence on your stack. Yeah, yeah. Or you can go to the cloud, which do very intensive machine learning for a year of the data, uh, like across all your headquarters, yeah, yeah. all your subs. Uh, so it's all up to your scenarios and you keep that architectural pattern in mind, like yeah. decided which one you yeah. want to use. But as you were saying at some point, you all, you have a consistent development platform. So basically, the model that you run in the cloud will run the same, or the service will run the same one Azure Stack. And then if you, you consider IoT Edge, you can actually also for the few services that support an Edge, like Streamalytics and, yes. and Cognitive Services and yeah. Functions, mm. you can run the same code there. It's like there's consistency. So you, yeah. you develop things once, you don't have to redevelop them. It's exactly. a matter of like what's scale they're going to be running at, basically. Yeah, so actually with that model, we help you save like a lot of uh, development cost, engineer cost. So I think it's okay. very good. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> that way. <laughs> that was actually very refreshing and, and, and that actually clarifies really well, at least to me. I hope the same for you guys, you know, where Azure Stack and IT Hub stand yeah. and how they work together. Yeah. Uh, well, uh, we say that we are working on Azure uh, IoT Hub being supported on Azure Stack. That's coming soon. Yeah. Anything so, else you want to add? Yeah. So one thing I want to add is like uh, with this uh, combination of a stack and IoT solutions, yeah. actually we open up huge opportunities mm -hmm. to to OEMs, to service provider, service integrator. Because one thing for service um, uh, like OEMs, mm -hmm. you can serve like a machine as a service, train as a service, mm. like chiller as a service. Because okay. now you can deploy your solutions to not only the customer who have internet connection, but also the customer who don't have internet connections. Okay. And for the service integration too, right? You have mm -hmm. a one solution developed, you can deploy to both. And a service um, provider is like, you can operate like a Microsoft, yep. you operate sir, uh, Azure Stack, and mm -hmm. you can have your own customers as a tenant, because we support a multi-tenancy, okay. which can subscribe to your services. So it's a, it's a huge business opportunities. Love it. Awesome. Yeah. Well, thanks a lot, Rita, for coming on the IT show. Glad to help you guys. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you have not yet. Thank you. Thank you.